Hello from Maui, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here alongside Dick Vitale for this EA Sports Maui Invitational Consolation matchup between the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the Tennessee Volunteers. Number four is a sensational player who can be counted on to give us some highlight reel material tonight. This kid used great defense to get him going on offense. We'll see it tonight. If he starts to struggle on the offensive end, he'll play twice as hard on the defensive end. The Volunteers will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. Let me tip off here in the first. The Volunteers know they're looking at a good one tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them to win? I would think that the keys are as follows. Number one, don't allow any good looks from behind the arc. Challenge every shot. Next, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Lastly, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Buried it. The defender's doing a great job of applying wall pressure. Gets it to go. They look to get it to the inside. Double team now, bad angle. Trying to draw the foul. It's good. Look at that, that's unbelievable, baby. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. Oliveira is eager and excited to compete. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. On the outside, got a wide open look. There's the trap. He gets that one to fall. Takes the pass in the paint, trying to draw some contact. Great anticipation defensively. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The center with the ball. He looks at the hoop from left of the circle. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. The frustration right there. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Sinks it. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He fakes the shot. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. shot. 
on the inside. Goes up for two. Tennessee have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Trying to go inside. Waller fakes the shot. Fakes it. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He strips him clean. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. the steal the pressure got to the ball handler lost some ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession entry pass in the paint that spin move not successful dick i did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn let's check in court side with aaron andrews aaron well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, if you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. post screen he tries the fadeaway the volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball Brad, he's on fire trying to feed the low block a lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside there he is strips the ball loose for two Great play to take that to the basket. The replay will give us a better look. On the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket, there was no doubt about that one. it in. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. This replay is going to be an encore presentation everywhere. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. I think they're trying to make a statement. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Working around the perimeter on the inside. Puts it up, looking for contact.
Gave it up. He makes the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Good fake. The shooting guard takes the pass. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up, puts up the tray. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. They are, but at least the basketball team is getting some deserved recognition. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even blocked. The point guard gets the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. There's the block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Turns it over. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Time to pick up the defense here now. The power forward takes the feed. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. For the bucket. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Tries for two. They still don't score. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. They will line him up. Gets it. Screen there. Hard foul. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. From three point range, he hits the shot. three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Parts goes to the line for the first time. First one is good. And he got them both. Wanted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The point guard gets the ball. 
Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Picked out of the air. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Alley-oop. Nice high post screen. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He takes the shot. Great shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Working it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. For two, they're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He tries the three. That was nice. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. On the outside. From way outside. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Up and inside. Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket, he gets it to fall. They scored eight in a row. Jumps into the defender, perfectly executed. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Takes away the pass. From beyond the arc. Gonzaga are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Picked off with a quarterback pass. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. He fires from long range. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Accepted. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He hammers it home. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. A high screen. Attempts the trifecta. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. It's stolen. They get it out into transition. Tries for two. That's good. A 
on the dribble, gives it up, leans in. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Steals a pass. Long lead pass. Durham is asking the fans for even more encouragement. He wants the crowd up and out of their seats for the next possession. They come with a double team to stop it. Here's a flash from the post up high. Stolen away. Shoots from outside. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. He launches the bomb. Oh, yes. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Entry pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Granny's on fire. <laughs> Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Another look. Opportunity for two for one. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. There's the trap. Steal. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the terrific block shot though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Gave it up, picks off the pass, puts up a prayer, and the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. At the half, the Volunteers are up by four. Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? Watch some of the great inside work of the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Tennessee shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. 
Our focus player update, Nick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think we got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. He's money with a shot. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. They work it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. Tickles a twine. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. He strokes it. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. It's good. Tries for two. And he missed. Fake. There's a high screen. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Now he's on fire. Takes the pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. the deuce he shows the sweet touch in the paint puts it on the floor and up and under I tell you, good post play because the footwork is excellent so many guys walk with their pivot foot he does a great job showing ball ball fake and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down nice fake the fake Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Stolen away. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. And the ball goes out of bounds. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Launches the three. You bet you. They scored seven in a row. Look at that spacing. He intercepts it. Easy bucket coming here. Oh, pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. That's an eight-zip run. Hits the second shot. That's a nine-zip run. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Puts up the shot. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here.
Double team now, bad angle. And he scores despite the hack. There's a double team waiting there. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He buries it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Tennessee are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to put that offense. They'll work it around the arc. He goes for three. That was nice. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. He comes away with it. For two and off the mark. He puts it in with contact and all. Entry pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And now getting back the other way on the break. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Steps to the line for the first time. Buries it. Gets the second. That's a 7-0 run. is a three. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Here's a double team. Stolen away. He fouled him. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. The ball goes out of play. Now, I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He pump fakes. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Takes away the pass. Shooter spotting up on a three. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He attempts a jump hook. Tennessee is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. needed breather with that timeout.
Number 42 with the fake. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Take it away. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. The ball goes out of bounds. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Pulls the trigger. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. And now they'll bring it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Oliveira receives the pass. Picks off the lazy pass. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. I'll tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Carew. With the fake, Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for contact. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Up and inside. Fires away. Not there. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They move it into the front court. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. He fires from long range. He drains the bucket. Intercepted. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Up and in. That's eight on answer. Oh, free throws go. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Oh, what a strip, Brad. Pushes it up. Great vision. Look at him head up. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a 
squad and gets on a tear, it simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Strips the ball. They run it up into transition. Up, easy one. That's a 13-zip run. For two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Way off target. the dribble gives it up let's see if they can get a good shot this trip he takes it away and a momentary look from three-point land and he'll kick it back outside he shoots from right of the circle he gets the bucket From three-point range, buried it. <laughs> Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. the feed they work the perimeter picked off problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see more man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting goes up for two unbelievable look at that post position he can't get a piece of that baby Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He draws a foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. In the post for the bucket. Perfectly executed. for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Steals the pass. With a quarterback pass. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Controlling the ball. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Here they go, into the break. Trying to draw the foul. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Rims out. The point guard handles the pass. Takes away the pass.
in the paint. Kicks it out. Wide open for the shot. Off the rim and no good. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. the pass in the paint. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He takes the three. Not a whole lot of luck getting the baskets to fall lately, Dick. They definitely aren't getting the bounces right now. He shoots from left of the circle. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. Still hot, and who's not after a timeout, Dick? Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. And has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I got defense reacting and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. And sinks the shot. The small forward receives the ball. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Picked out of the air. There's the trap. Cross court. Intercepted. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets it to fall. Picks off the lazy pass. Attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. Trying to draw some contact. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And the ball goes out of bounds. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Jumped in front to take it away. Easy dude coming here, Brad. He puts it in with contact and all. Picks off the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Up and in 
side. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. is dead on the dribble gives it up for two was that beautiful or what the volunteers have a mismatch in the post you're right Brad there is a mismatch that spin move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass our focus player update our final one of the ball game and he led his team to victory i tell you one thing he really responded to the challenge and that led them to the winner's circle tonight. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.